What is up guys, Tape James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get PSTV features on your PS Vita by installing a couple of plugins. This is really cool. You guys might know if you have a PSTV or if you've seen videos of them on YouTube. If you hold the home button on the PS3 controller, um, the menu will open and it has features that a normal PS Vita doesn't. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to add in these extra features. Now you can either get these off the official websites, I will leave those GitHub pages in the description, or you can install these plugins using Auto Plugin. Now for this video, I will be using Auto Plugin. This is the quickest method and I'm sure you, most of you guys watching this video also have auto plugin installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and start it up. Make sure it's on the latest version, so 4.20 at the time of recording this video because the latest version has the plugins we need. So let's go and start it and then we can get the plugins installed. So let's just wait for it. We're going to go on plugins for Vita and we're going to go on to install plugins and then we're going to look for the queue section. Now in the queue section there is two plugins we can get. There is quick power which basically enables the PSTV power button and then there's quick volume which enables the PSTV volume slider now for me I don't think I'm gonna get the volume one I'm just gonna get the power one but if you guys want to get both you can just go ahead and do it so I'm just gonna get power for this video so all you want to do if you want to get both of them or just one of them you select your euro or your UXO at the top wherever your TAI folder is you want to press X on it uh, you just want to wait and then it should install in a couple of seconds but then just going to press start once they're installed press X for OK and our PS Vita will reboot so now my PS Vita is rebooted if you guys hold the home button you should be able to see them now I've not enabled my custom firmware yet so I'm just going to do that quickly and then I'll show you guys what they look like so there you go, as soon as we exit, all you guys want to do is hold the PS Vita button, also known as the home button, and the menu will pop up and we can check them out. So obviously the one I got is the standby feature and the power off feature. Um, there's also more information about these on the websites. And if you guys got the... Um, like the master volume plugin that will show in between brightness and music the reason why I didn't install that is because for some reason I just can't get it working I don't know if that's an SD to Vita issue but um, yeah let me know in the comments did you get the master volume working because for me it just won't show up but the power feature is very cool I think we can try to reboot one if we just hold power off it should actually reboot instead of powering off and that's just like a quick tip obviously if you um, tap power off your PSV Vita is just going to power off like normal and this is just a quicker way rather than holding the home button and then tapping power off it's just a faster shortcut basically to turn off your PS Vita and there you go guys that is pretty much it PSDV features on the classic PS Vita if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one